All right, here we go. We're doing it once again. Five Block Entertainment. As always, I'm your boy Atlas. It's my man, Lawyer Johnson. Tonight, we're doing the Battle of the Dozens. A head-to-head -head competition of comedians. May the best man win. Cash prize to the winner at the end of the night. Ain't nothing like this happening in Phoenix, Arizona, man. Hey, what's going on? You know, you see us at the Bach Lounge. Uh, we about to do the Battle with the Dozen Comedy Contest to give away a cash prize. This is a hilarious event. Uh, you already see that it's a packed room in there. And we're just going to have fun and we're going to do what we're doing. Let's just make people laugh. Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Lino Cross from the Saget. I just came here to fight for real. I just, yeah. I'm going to be going on everybody, so I know somebody going to fight for tonight. Never done anything like this before on my first night. I'm a virgin doing this. I'm not a virgin to talk to people. Let's go. Go. All right, my man, Wild Bill. That's a nice look. It's like if the Marlboro man had smoked like Virginia Slims. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like that whole like cowboy thing you got going on, man. That's what's up. I really fuck with that. You, you really are trying to be the Marlboro man, huh? A little bit. A little bit. I don't even know, man. It's like if Patrick Swayze had a father. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Nah, Bill's my guy, man. You run that show up there. What's it called? Carefree? How many black people up there? There's one that's still too many up there. <laughs> Doing Carefree. Shit. Uh, that shirt is really. Uh, it looks like a dishcloth.
single, aren't you? Can you tell? What are you walking, dancing around like that for? Don't worry. Ah. Combination of everything together. So if you don't know now, you know Kurt Diesel's in the house. They call me Uncle Steve. I'm in the house. I'm about to tell somebody something. They ain't gonna like it, but we all here to have fun. Roy Johnson brought this shit together. He gonna pay for my parking. I'm out of here. Boom! Uncle Steve Jenkins, sweat like it took a hit of crack before you came out here. Does <laughs> <laughs> this battle, huh? <laughs> what the fuck is in that red bull can? But you know, Uncle Steve Jenkins, I am really glad that they let you out of the bathroom long enough to come to do this contest. <laughs> and I would appreciate a condom, a mint, and a cigarette when I get back up in that motherfucker. <laughs> I always wonder what, ha wonder what happened to rerun from uh, what's happening. Damn, it's a damn shame. I mean, I know you used to shop at the Gap, but... The fat? <laughs> shit, man. Came out here in some moccasins and shit trying to tap into your old Indian roots and shit. I bet if you take off that cat, that hat, you got some good hair under there, don't you? <laughs> Motherfucker just came straight over here from Eyewear Express and shit. He <laughs> got his fucking prescription. Time! Yeah. Give it up for Kurt! Time! Well, hey, Kurt. Uh, tell it for the way you dress. I don't know if you're going jogging or begging. <laughs> uh, I was watching TV the other day, and it was it was seemed like a good movie. I thought I saw you in it. It was called Bend Over and Let's Start It Again. <laughs> Man, you know, I missed the night of the Empire, but I seem to not miss out on that because your breath's still on fire. Uh, yeah, you could pass for the kid play. But in this movie, be called Kid and Gay. Yeah, 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 pretty good, pretty good. But uh, I see you uh, nicking around, of course. Everybody needs a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Who wear iron shoes in blue? Only a fool like you. <laughs> Come on! VIP, Kirk Thomas. Alright, Kurt, 
What's with the name Diesel? That's gas, ain't it? Don't nobody name themselves Diesel unless you're in the movies. Like I say, good over, let's start again. No. Uh, well, Kurt, you know, I don't normally like to do this, but I, I look at you as one of my nephews, you know. And, 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 and you being a light skin sucker, it makes you that bright skin motherfucker. <laughs> but I can tell you color, colorblind because all your clothes come from, uh, what's that, Geratimo? Geratimo? Is that how you dress yourself? <laughs> The giraffe matches the giraffe, and the bear matches the bear. <laughs> and when you smile, that brings your outfit out. You know, uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Time! All right. Go! All right, here we are with Uncle Steve Jenkins, everybody's favorite pedophile. <laughs> That's why I sweat right now, he afraid is uh, Probation officer gonna run in the door and give him a piss test. <laughs> yeah. Fucking drinking red blood trying to flush out his system because he just took two hits downstairs and shit. Yeah. Still got the heater in his pocket, boy. <laughs> the, hey man, I know that motherfuckers cost at least three dollars at the swap meet, huh? Are those BB or baby? <laughs> He's talking about when I smile, it matches my outfit. When you smile, it don't match nothing. <laughs> most most black people when they smile, that's the only thing you can see. When you smile, that's the only thing I can't see. It's your teeth. Brush them, brush them, brush them. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I hate to get out of your Uncle Steve, because you know I love you, man. But uh, I did. Uh, I mean, if you don't wear, if you don't wear a fake ass diamond earring, at least wear a bigger one. <laughs> Give it up for do y'all want Steve Jake or Uncle Steve Jake? Oh, yeah, I'll give it up for Kirk Top. Yeah. Kirk Top, you're a best to the next round. Congratulations.